Well, I'll start with a point of difference, because I think that's really what is key to everything we do. And then the main point of difference between Amorovica and any other brand on the market, I think, is lies in the water. W where we find it, what we do to it, and how transformative it is of the skin. So, by comparison, any other skincare brand you'll find on the market will be about 60% water, which is like us, but it will be entirely demineralized water. So water which has been treated to have no um, benefit whatsoever, on purpose. Whereas with us, it's the exact contrary. So the heart of everything we do is a water which has been treated through a long process to become a mineral delivery system we've patented, which has anti-aging benefits. So that, I think, makes it very, very different because it really powers everything we do and is in every product we do. It was dealt with by a laboratory of dermatology in Hungary, which got a Nobel Prize for discovering vitamin C last century. And in collaboration with us, they developed the delivery system, which we patented, and which enables the minerals in the water, which are very, very abundant, to be delivered in the skin in our products. So that really, in a nutshell, is what stands what makes Moravica, sorry, stand aside from any other brand in the market. Now the story of the brand goes back a long way further, specifically about 2,000 years ago, when the curative properties of the waters were first discovered, and when the first baths were built in order to capitalize on those benefits. So the story goes that a Roman emperor observed the scarring on some of his soldiers to be much faster than on others, and as it happens, those soldiers who scarred fastest were those who had spent time in pools of thermal water. So as a result, they noticed, okay, this is something interesting. They built the first bath, which is huge, and which is in present-day Budapest, and it's still there. And ever since then, people have been building baths in Hungary, left, right, and center, based on their observation of the benefits of the water. So Dover, there's over a thousand hot springs in Hungary. And it's a very small country, so it's, it's a testament to the fact that it's an unusual feature. And the reason there's so many, and that the water you find is so rich in minerals, is because the crust of the earth, or the outer layer, is thinner than in other countries, which means the water is nearer the surface, and the rocks which hold the water are hotter, so that when the water journeys up through the rocks to the surface, it gathers more mineral, which is essentially dissolved rock, on the way. So for that reason, there's tons more springs, and each one of those has many more minerals in it. And the composition of minerals from one bath to another is entirely different. So whether you go to the east of the country, the south of the country, west of the country, you find very different properties and very different waters. So if you go all the way east, it stinks of iron and rust. It's full of iron, it's very brackish, dark, but excellent for joints. If you go to the west or to the south, more importantly, you'll get lots of copper and zinc which is great for treating very, very acute skin problems like psoriasis or adult acne. And if you go further west, there's a lot of water which is rich in minerals which are good for respiration. So you, you can pick and choose, and doctors in Hungary pick and choose. So when you go to a doctor with an ailment, an illness, typically they'll say, okay, well, to start with, why don't you try this bath or that bath or the other bath? And uh, they don't seem to really do delve too deep into the science of why that happens. They know empirically, this combination of minerals in that bath will help you. So anyway, I was quite keen on the bath and quite keen on the story behind the bath and this sort of as a lifestyle thing rather than a curative thing. Until I met Margaret, who is American and was living in Budapest at the time and was the chief of staff at the American Embassy. Now, through that position, she'd seen a lot of things in Budapest which I'd never seen and been introduced to a lot of top flight scientists and artists and you name it, but she'd never been to the bath. Which, as a proper Hungarian, I just thought, no, hang on, that's ridiculous, you've got to. And we did go together, again and again and again. And she noticed very quickly that the effect of these baths on her skin were, were quite noticeable, quite remarkable. And as somebody who was much more aware of the effect of things on her skin than I was, she was able to notice a change complexion. Now that didn't lead us anywhere except to continue to go back to the baths until we met this scientist who's um, the Nobel Prize winning laboratory I mentioned a second ago, the head of that lab, Dr. Kemini, is a young guy who was quite excited about the possibility of doing things with Hungarian resources. And this is really a key Hungarian resource. At which point we thought, okay, Eureka, this is really something that should have been done ages ago, wasn't, and we're going to do it. 
We're going to do it, except that I'm a lawyer and Margaret's a diplomat, so we know nothing about skin care. And uh, so we went back to these um, wonderful dermatologists and said, okay, you, you, know, you got us into this, you need to help us create this brand, which will be a Hungarian brand, taking this wonderful Hungarian treasure, as yet unknown in skincare, although very famous in the world of you know, bathing and telesotherapy. They developed a system which is based on a very simple process of fermentation, whereby mineral molecules are transformed by being complexed with yeast molecules into something the skin absorbs. So like many things, it's simple if you think about it. So of course we hadn't, we couldn't, they did. We patented the process and that was it. And then we launched a few initial products in our own spa in Budapest. So we opened the doors of our spa on the 1st of August 2006. That was, that was the date it launched and we still have that spa. And since then I've been rolling out to spas and retail worldwide. Well, I think when we develop products, we always try and think of a particular concern, a particular issue that we're targeting with a particular product. We found that there's key ingredients that we love, such as this mud out of Hungary, which is a very unique ingredient in quite a few of our products, which are perfect to, for, to cleanse the skin and reduce pore size and regulate sebum production. So, and then, you know, our most popular product is an oil cleanser, which again, regulates the production of sebum, calms the skin, stops the skin from creating more oil and shine. So the combination of you know, the oily cleanser, the mud mask, the mud exfoliant, all of these products tend to focus on cleansing the skin properly, reducing pore size, and stopping the skin from generating more sebum. It's something which is specific to people with combination oily skin, but I think a lot of other people who think they've got sensitive skin fall wham bam into that category. Well, the Brazilian market is something we've been looking at for ages from the outside. I mean, it always seemed, and it's you know, practically um, folklore, that bringing products into Brazil is a Herculean task. But at the same time, the Brazilian market is very strong, has been growing, has some fabulous domestic brands, and it seems really it's a bit easy for them to not have competition. You need, to, you need to bring brands into business. It's an attractive market also because the beauty industry is something which seems so deeply ingrained in the Brazilian culture. People do take care of themselves, or at least the perception is that women in Brazil take very good care of themselves in a way which is not the case everywhere else. We want to come here more. Now we're here one day. Last year was here one day. This time actually we're here three days. We would love to come for a week. So we need to sell an awful lot in Brazil so that we can go and launch in I don't know, eight different cities and come and spend time getting to know our customers in as many cities as possible. So the more we sell, the more successful we are, the more time we spend here, the happier we'll be. So.